are taking a live look, a beautiful live look at Oakland as the city uh, is shining in that, what they call the golden hour, right? Yeah. At this time of day, uh, beautiful skies over a beautiful city. Although the city is continuing to struggle with an uptick in crime, growing concerns about safety, and that has prompted local activists to take steps to support local businesses that are trying to keep customers coming through the doors. And one well-known hip-hop artist and community organizer is stepping up in a big way to help lift up the people of Oakland. That would be Oakland rapper Mr. <laughs> Fab, and he's celebrating his birthday week and once again marking the occasion with a week-long series of events, including a bowling party, a comedy night, and a fashion show, not to mention that mural. We'll talk about that in just <laughs> yes, a minute. Yes, that's right. And joining us in studio is Mr. Fab himself. How's it going? Thank you, and happy you. belated birthday. Yeah, yeah happy well, birthday. we're going to, I was born the whole week. All right. <laughs> My mom was in labor a week. It took a while. Yeah, this, <laughs> and, and happy birthday and congratulations to your mom. Most definitely. You know, most bringing definitely. you into the world. Well, thank you for joining us, and we were really, you know, interested in how you are taking your birthday celebration and really expanding it into a much broader celebration of Oakland. Tell us about that. What's needed right now in Oakland is for people to come back into the communities and pour in. Everyone is so in a rush to get out, so in a rush to leave. And when they're leaving, um, they're taking so many different things with them. They're taking a possibility to come back and charge up, come back and to pour in to uh, the reinvigorating of what we're doing in our communities. There are people that need us. There are people that need assistance. There are people that need help. And sometimes that help is just not financial. It's just put a lens on me. Amplify what I'm doing. Mention me. Say something about my business. What we've been able to do with Fab Week is entrepreneurs, caterers, chefs. We're employing so many people. And then that enforcing and just raising the, the workforce, security, giving people jobs, giving people opportunity, mm -hmm. and highlighting small businesses, which is needed right now. Mm -hmm. where, where, what was the, the, the motivation for you to start doing this a, a few years back, to turn your birthday celebration into a time when, when you're trying to give a gift to the, the people in the community in Oakland and, and, and help lift people up? What, what prompted you to want to, want to do this and, 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 and start doing these events? We were dealing with the pandemic, and um, a lot of people were sitting up very antsy not knowing when will the world reopen, what will we do, and coming off uh, such a, a stale moment and a stale time where time had froze on us, we began to say, well, what can we do? What is there to do? And we created this week-long thing of entertainment, and it just was like, let's just go have some fun. Let's go bowling, let's go dancing, let's go skating, um, let's go play softball, let's go, let's go do something, let's have some activities where we can get outside and get back to, you know, building with each other and socializing with each other. Um, social media, in a weird way, has made us socially awkward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now people, they don't get a chance to have that human experience. Face-to-face yeah. -face yeah. time. And I, I wanted to bring back the human experience, man. And, and, so and important. the first year, it was, it was great, and it's been thriving. And um, to see people follow suit and look forward to it and what we're doing, we bring a convivial feel to the community, which helps people like, yo, this is something to look forward to. Mm -hmm. Minority stress always makes you think about what can go wrong. Mm -hmm. But we have to realize what can actually go right. Mm -hmm. And what can go right if we utilize our powers and conflate and realize what it is that we're doing. We're building, we're building the economy, we're building, you know, just the, the whole happiness and taking this dark cloud over our heads and letting the sun shine. Just and you time. mentioned the dark cloud. So one yeah. of the things, you know, we're, uh, oftentimes San Francisco gets a lot of the attention. We're having, um, you know, the situation where a lot of the teams are right. moving out of Oakland. Right. Right. When I talk to people from Oakland, everybody who really loves it has a specific thing that they love about it. And I'm wondering, what is it for you, you know, that has kept you here, that makes you love Oakland so much? Born and bred in Oakland, understanding that everything I represent is a byproduct of this city. Knowing that the Mr. Fab that the world sees today, it wouldn't be anything without Oakland. I've learned everything here. And I know that there are children that are just like me, that they don't have anybody to cultivate or curate their greatness or their brilliance. And if all of the people that have an ability to do so leave away, then they'll be lost. And in the land of the lost, all they needed some guidance. All I needed was a chance. All I needed was an opportunity. All I needed was someone to see me. 
And in that, they can realize and recognize the talents that I have and, and do what it, and whatever it has, the fruition of what has come today. The maturation of what's going on or the lack of maturation is no one's going back and investing in these children. They're abandoning them. And in that abandonment, children that have been abandoned will come back and burn the village down. For every child that has been abandoned will return to that village and burn it down because they felt the village never cared for them, didn't care about them. Yes, yeah, a lot of crime. Yes, yeah, a lot of stuff going on in our city. And we those are secondary issues. We have to look at the primary. The primary is most of these kids are byproducts of parents that are not emotionally available to them, emotionally immature, never loved them. Financial crises causing their parents to just work, 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 work and never pay attention to them. But imagine if we gave these children an opportunity. Imagine if we keyed in on details and being able to recognize we have medical apartheid, educational apartheid, and so many separate. All of the separatism, once we start coming together, we do the thug therapy for the mental men's, um, mental men workshops, which is every first Wednesday. There's mental health, and you'll be amazed and blown away by the things that we suppress. Yeah. Yes. How many men are walking around here stressed out? And like you said, sometimes it just takes somebody to, to recognize be looking them, at that. To just and say, I see you. What an amazing way, what an amazing gift to the community Absolutely. on your birthday. Yeah, For sure. And, and just to, to let people know, that there, there are events that continue tonight uh, and, and through the weekend. Real quick, because we're almost out of time, Fab. But what, what, what can people enjoy? Tonight is something I'm super You got a fashion show? show? Fashion show tonight Sounds at my great. club named after my mother, Desi's Lounge. Okay. Uh, 1802. To Telegraph. It's a black designer fashion show to highlight the designers um, to skim through it. A car show tomorrow, a sneaker prom. And everyone's welcome. <laughs> everyone's welcome. It's an open down. invite. And Sunday, Sunday, this is key. And in closing, Sunday, we're having a celebrity basketball game at my alma mater, Oakland Technical High School. Okay. Um, and we're going to donate money back to the sports program. In light of that, man, hoping out. So I got a lot of special guests coming out. <laughs> so, sounds, sounds great. And as we said yes. earlier, I know we have video. That, that mural went up earlier this week um, in yeah. the neighborhood you grew up in. Drake, in North Steve, Oakland, thank you so much. Uh, on the side of a store at uh, 45th and Market. Yes. And I know that m meant so much to you. As we talked about it, you know, that mural right there is, that's my childhood in, in, in art form right there in, in so many ways. Dre and Steve, thank you guys so much. 45th, North Oakland. The whole, uh, my whole area, you know, Ice City, we continue to keep representing our area. And there's so many brilliant children that come from this area and yeah. all other parts over Oakland. And let's highlight those kids because. Yes. Let's put a spotlight yes. on them. We need, they need us. Fab, thank you. Thank you. Thank you really so much. I appreciate, really appreciate it. it. And happy, happy birthday again. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. All right, we're going to we'll go to right break. Back. Yeah, we'll be back.